kitchen. Welcome back everyone. Today we are making fig walnut and red wine pate. Some people might consider it more of a liverwurst than a pate. You may have to fish around to find the chicken liver, but hopefully not. Hopefully it's really easy to find. But hopefully you can find it in a local supermarket or your local church. When you're adding things like figs or walnuts and stuff like that, you can pick and choose, but the figs do add a bit of sweetness. My parents and their friends really love this. It's really nice to put on like a charcuterie board to have with crackers or just plate it up nicely for a party. It's not really my thing. I don't really eat it, but it's up to you. If you like the idea of livers, then yeah, I think you're gonna like this. This makes a very smooth texture that my parents call meat butter. Chop the livers into evenly sized pieces. It will go in the blender, but you wanna chop it evenly so it cooks it evenly, and it also makes it easier for your blender later on. Add your liver shallots broth into the pot and let it boil. Make sure to simmer until it's cooked through fully, which should take about 10 to 15 minutes. We normally drain it into the sink, but we're going to do it here so you don't see our gross sink state. Add everything but the figs and walnuts to the blender. Make sure to scrape down the sides. Blend, blend, blend. I hope I didn't sound evil there because that was not the intention. <laughs> blend until smooth. Pour into a bowl until it looks like mud. And then prep your walnuts and figs. Cut into small pieces, kind of like dicing. You can also prep the figs and walnuts while the livers are cooking. And on the figs, cut into small pieces normally. Make sure to leave a fig or two so you can chop it in half layer for garnish if that's what you're into. Bring the red wine to a simmer in a small pot. Careful when you're adding the figs because they might come up and splash you or make a mess. You can keep the red wine and use it to make a reduction to put over the top later and just add a little honey for a sweetener add it to the pate i mean the mud I'm joking add it to the pate and mix it through put cling film down before you put the pate in cover and then chill overnight. This is only really for plating unless you really want fancy serving sizes. You can just eat it out of the tub. Just like a big mold, make sure to use parchment paper for sizes for your adjusted little mold that you've chosen. Push down the pate, making sure to push out all of the air sockets. You just repeat over and over again, and you have tiny little serving size. Chill and let it sit overnight. Bon appetit. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Please like and subscribe a lot.